Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry for help, O Lord. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us from all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. From Paul, servant of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to bring those whom God has chosen to faith and to the knowledge of the truth that leads to true religion, and to give them the hope of the eternal life that was promised so long ago by God. He does not lie, and so at the appointed time he revealed his decision, and by the commandment of, our God, of God our Saviour I have been commissioned to proclaim it. To Titus, true child of mine in the faith that we share, wishing you grace and peace, from God the Father, and from Christ Jesus our Saviour. The reason I left you behind in Crete was for you to get everything organised there and appoint elders in every town in the way that I told you. That is, each of them must be men of irreproachable character. He must not have been married more than once, and his children must be believers and not uncontrollable or liable to be charged with disorderly conduct. Since as president he will be God's representative, he must be irreproachable, never an arrogant or hot-tempered man, nor a heavy drinker, or violent, nor out to make money, but a man who is hospitable, and a friend of all that is good, and a friend of all that is good, sensible, moral, devout, and self-controlled, and he must have a firm grasp on the unchanging message of the tradition, so that he can be counted on for both expounding the sound doctrine and refuting those who argue against it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face, who shall climb the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place. The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Shine on the world like bright stars. You are offering it the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, 
Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Obstacles are sure to come, but alas for the one who provides them. It would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a millstone put round his neck than that he should lead astray a single one of these little ones. Watch yourselves. If your brother does something wrong, reprove him. And if he is sorry, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times a day and seven times come back to you and says, I am sorry, you must forgive him. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer for ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.